Hello everyone. Today let's do something different. Let's review a ROM that reminds us of the old days back in 2012. It's empty brand engine for X8 and let's find out if it deserves our attention or not. First, it's the lock screen. It has the style of a sliding bar. Swiping to the right, you can unlock your phone and swiping to the left lets you set your device in silent mode. Also, the time and date are displayed at the top center of the phone with the status bar remaining visible. When you unlock your phone, you are presented with the old Xperia 2012 launcher. You have five total screens at your disposal and you tap repeatedly for adding widgets to them. Some interesting ones are the music, clock, timescape, quick toggles and photo widgets. Hitting the app drawer button, you can see your applications presenting in a grid of three rows and four columns. Most of the system applications, including the phone, contacts, and messaging app and also the music app are things to match the overall look and feel of the ROM. Moving on to the camera you can discover here a, li a little themed application with buttons and toggles identical to the Sony UI. It takes pictures of 3 megapixels and records in VGA resolution. The speed and the overall performance of the ROM is pretty good. It's actually faster than Ginger DX and is quite a game machine. It rarely lags and if you overclock it at 729 MHz you will have a fluid and comfortable experience. All in all, taking all of the mentioned into consideration, I firmly believe that this ROM is definitely deserved your attention. The links for the ROM, kernel, fixes and add-ons used in this video will be down in the description. If you like this review, please consider to like this video and subscribe to my channel.